Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna review is how to make a hollow form. So anything thicker than your thumb needs to be hollowed out. So you would make the form hollow with one or two pinch pots and then you don't need this big of an air hole, but you definitely need an air hole in your piece or it'll blow up. This one's in there, okay? So if I was gonna make this one, can you guess what it is? Running water. <laughs> if I was gonna make this um, drop of water with the hollow form, what I would do is I would start with two balls of clay that I've wedged up. And then you're gonna make two pinch pots. Remember how to make pinch pots from when we did tea bowls and organic sculpture. You wanna work fairly quickly and keep that clay soft. The edges of the pinch pot should be about as thick as your pinky. Okay, so two of those. You don't have to use a slab mat um, on your tables. My green table, the clay likes to stick, but if you want them, they're up front. So you have your pinch pots. Of course, you can make them bigger if you need them. I put slip on your table. You're gonna need slip and your scoring tool. If you don't slip and score, they're gonna come apart. If your slip is dry, just add a little water to it. So you must slip and score both sides of your piece to make your hollow form. And then you're gonna put it together so it slips, score, attach. The way I like to attach first is with the scoring tool because it really gets a good adherence and really scores it together well so that it will stay together in the firing. And then you can take your thumb and smooth it or one of the best tools ever is on the back counter under the cookie cutters, the paddle. So the paddle smooths it and shapes it for you. If you remember this from when we did organic sculpture. So right away, this could be the hollow port of an animal like a horse or another kind of thing. For this sculpture, the top is narrower. So there are two ways to do it. One is to get a bucket of water and pull it. The other is to kind of paddle it into shape. You can use your hand, but the paddle is better. So it's a lot of pinching, pulling, paddling, shaping. Um, then I would um, let it firm up a little bit before you decide to add this. Now it may not support itself like that, so you might want it sitting. I know there's running water. Um, if you want to do it like that, you'd want to make them thicker coils and wait till they firm up a little before you attach them. I can also put high temperature wire in there and then attach it to a stand after it's fired to make it stand if you want, if you need it standing like this piece. And then the most important part of making a hollow form is that the air hole goes all the way to the air pocket. That doesn't count. So if I can't get the needle tool in there and wiggle it around, I will not fire it because it'll blow up in the kiln, okay? Some of you are not remembering that you can't just make a solid form and stick a hole in it. That's not hollow. That's a solid form with a hole in it. It does nothing, okay? So it has to be hollow and then an air hole. So that is how happy as a clam was made. That is how hot potato was made and fish out of water, okay? And then you can add on, like you saw in the video, the appendages and things like that. So the other way you can do it is you take a solid form, wire it in half, scoop it out, and then put the pieces together. So there are a couple ways you can do that. The second technique as a review is soft slab. We learned this when we did bowls, okay? So you would roll out a slab. For this one, I cut it out with a cookie cutter. And then I need to find a form. So if I'm going to use a bowl or this that's not, doesn't have any um, polyurethane on it, the clay won't stick to that. But if I'm gonna use glass, styrofoam, anything like that, the clay will stick to it. So I need to put paper towel on it and spray it with water. Or you can wrap dry paper towel and masking tape on it and cover that form before you add clay or the clay will stick. And then I just took this and put it over it. So I have two of these. So that might be good if you're doing a round form. I know a lot of you picked moon, like blue moon and stuff. You'd have to make a bigger circle. Then you would let them get leather hard and slip and score them together, okay? That is a way that you could do this instead of pinch pot too, is by doing a soft slab. So you roll out a slab, you drape it over a form, let it get leather hard, and then you can add detail. And then the third method is new. I have not taught this, so if you were spacing out, you need to pay attention right now. So for so um, hard slab, it's just like it sounds. What you do is you get a 
slab and you cut out the shapes and then you let them firm up by the fan. So if you were gonna do a piece of cake, like this one, you would wanna do hard slabs. So anything with um, strong edges that need to be firm would be this technique. I did make some cake templates, if any of you are doing piece of cake, but I can also help you create other templates. So this would be the top and bottom of the cake these would be the sides and this would be the back. So that's why it says times two on these. So what I did is this morning, I roll out a slab, I cut out the shapes and I let them get leather hard. You wanna really pay attention by the fan because if the edges get too dry, you won't be able to slip and score it together. So this is pretty obvious. You probably figure out how to do this. You must slip and score it. So what you're gonna do is you're going to score and slip both sides Okay, now this is not enough. You cannot just do that. What you need to do is you need to smear some soft clay in those cracks because the slipping and scoring is not enough. So the best way to do that is to either take a chunk of clay or roll a coil of clay and smear it in the seams. If you don't do this, it'll come apart in the firing. So you wanna smear it on the inside seam and on the outside seam. So you can either do coils or soft clay. Okay, and now I'm adding wet clay to leather hard clay. So after I make this sculpture, I need to spray it with water and wrap it because the leather hard clay already shrank. So I need to spray it with water so that the two clay types, the soft, fresh plastic clay and the leather hard clay can become the same wetness again or they will separate in the kiln. So then this would go here. You can adjust it, oops, sorry, this will go here. This will go on top, and then you would have the back piece. And then we can fill a plastic bag with slip and make frosting if you're doing cake, okay? So hard slab requires a little bit of thought and possibly a template as you're making that because you are cutting out forms and putting it together. Hard slab is a little bit more of a challenge because of the dryness of the clay. So again, as a repeat, the three methods that you can use for hand building to build it um, when you're building your sculptures are hollow form, and then we have soft slab, which I can't find my little paper that has soft slab on it. So hollow form, soft slab, and hard slab are the three basic methods for making um, your sculptures today. All right.